Hi, my name is Flick Swan and I'm a professional dancer and co-founder of SleekBalletFitness.com. And today in this workout, we are going to open our hips. And as we do that, and I show you these exercises, I'm going to explain why it's important that we do that on a regular basis. Stay with me to the end of the workout and you will get a real energy release as well. So let's get going. I'm going to turn sideways, but you can face me. So soles of the feet together. And just for you to walk your heels comfortably towards you and take hold of your ankles. Roll your shoulders back. You have a long spine. If you can hold and engage into your core, you're gonna interlace your fingertips and thumbs and press your elbows gently into the creases of your knees. I want you to draw your knees up towards you and at the same time resist with your elbows so you'll feel the whole circumference of your hip is engaged. So in life, we carry a lot of residual tension into our hips, and it's important that we release that residual tension on a regular basis. So finding this compression and opening movement here by bringing the knees up and squeezing, we're gonna hold it for four more. Here we go for four, three, two, one. Here comes the release as you send your knees down to the floor, walk your heels in fingertips behind you, open the chest, breastbone to the sky. Feel where those knees are, they do not have to be anywhere close to the floor or your mat, but they're going to get easier and closer down as we repeat this movement. So again, walk your heels comfortably from your distance. Take hold of your fingers and interlace them. Squeeze your knees in towards you and open up through the knees. But at the same time, draw the inside thighs towards you. Resist against your elbows. So you'll get a slight tremble or a quiver. It's absolutely fine. Again, working the full range of hip throughout these next few minutes here and release off, same thing again. Maybe bring your heels towards you, fingertips come behind you, and then roll your shoulders back. See how now, do those knees go a little closer to the mat? Maybe they do. Maybe you can gently rock side to side. And one more time for luck, bring those knees up. Interlace the fingers, elbows come in towards you, out towards the knees, and then we find that two-way resistance. Squeeze, knees together, elbows apart. Holding here for a final four, for four, three, two, one, and release off. So the second reason why hip openers are so good for us is because lower back pain is very common. It's appropriate for our everyday lives. We sit so much. If you wish, you can lift those hips up. We're driving, we're in cars, we're at desks. Lower back pain is really common and opening the hips helps to relieve that lower back pain. Bottom comes down, squeeze your knees together and this time have a little hug. Take hold of your elbows, squeeze your forehead to your knees, round out the spine. And then bring one leg in towards you now and extend one leg out to second. So out to the side. See if you can extend the toes down to the floor. Finally, it's important to open our hips so that we align our lower back and pelvis. Any tension and tightness can pull our alignment of our spine out. Again, that can lead to further lower back pain. What we're doing here is sending this knee down to the mat, lengthening the inside of the arm along the leg and opening up through the top shoulder and elbow. You get a lovely stretch through the rib cage at the same time. As you recover, fingertips come down, send your hips towards me. And if you can, you lift up and look back opening up through the upper body as well as the lower body, send your bottom down, good. Thinking about alignment again, we're going to turn diagonally onto our mat, allowing our knee and our shin to be in line. You'll already start to feel an opening in the outer hip here and this might be enough for you. If you'd like more, start to walk your forearms down, make a little pillow for your head and allow the forehead to touch. Taking care of this knee, flex this foot to protect the knee, but if this is too much, I'm gonna show you an alternative on your backs as well. Meanwhile, we're staying here. Deep stretch, breathe. So the energy release will come at the end of this workout. You should feel more energized, relaxed, because releasing that residual tension in the hips will give us that little burst of energy. Walk your fingertips up. Sit up nice and tall, 
point your toes towards you. And if you can, rond de jambe or guide that back leg. Step it onto the floor. And we're going to stack our knees now, one on top of the other. If this is too much, just sit cross leg, ankles crossed. Walk your fingers forward. Send your bottom back and breathe. Press your tailbone back. Reach your chest forward. Roll yourselves up and then face me. I'm coming side on again. Let's go back to our first sequence. Heels towards you, sitting up tall find a long spine, interlace the fingers, elbows come in towards those knee creases, draw the knees in, extend back out through the elbows, find that resistance, squeezing here, keeping that tremble feeling going, four, three, two, one, and release down, again, maybe bringing the heels in a little, fingertips behind you, they face away, this time perhaps you can straight away lift your hips, releasing tension, improving lower back pain and alignment. Good, draw it in. We're only taking one set this time, round out, curve into your spine. And then open up to face me. Let's bring the other leg in. The action of this knee opens through our external rotation and this knee is facing the ceiling as we slide down. Open your top elbow. Feel that lovely stretch through the rib cage, gently guiding that bent knee down to the mat. And then lifting to recover, place this hand down, stretch through the front of the hips, lift up. If this is too much, you can keep your bottom, your hips down. Circle the arm and come on a diagonal line, just gently bringing this leg behind you. We're aiming one day for the knee and ankle to be in line, but that's a deep, strong feeling into that hip. That might be too much. This might be enough, or down we go. Each side feeling a little different. As dancers, we're always trying to create balance in the body, but one side is inevitably stronger or tighter than the other. We're just working to create that balance. Holding here. Again, stay with me to the end of the workout if you want an alternative to this movement. Walking yourselves back up. Just a moment to press into the fingertips. Lengthen up. And then rondage on this leg. Step it on top and see if you can stack your knees. And again, if this is too much, cross-legged. Sit up nice and tall. Walk your fingertips forward. Send your bottom back. Breathe in, breathe out. Roll back up. Sweep your legs gently round behind you and separate your knees wide on your mat. Your toes are together and your knees are apart. Now again, this might be enough for you. The action of rocking forward, gravity sends our pelvis, our hips down towards the mat. If you feel like you need a deeper stretch, we're widening off the knees, we're coming gently onto our forearms using upper body strength, and then sending the hips forward here. Now, if the toes lift, that is absolutely fine. Again, we're not pushing into any pain or discomfort. We're opening up, making space in our hips here. Breathing. Coming out of this carefully using upper body strength, lower your toes, press your hands to the floor, perhaps take a moment to sit back. Rock forward, well done. Sweep your legs back out from underneath you. Taking care, listening to your body. Roll down onto the floor. And let's take the reverse option of that little pose that we took with the leg in front and behind. It's a strong pose and sometimes our knees might not like it. So if your knees prefer something a little gentler, here's our option. Flex the foot, open the knee. Make an L shape with your underneath leg. Wrap your fingers around your hamstring. Flex the underneath foot and gently draw that leg in towards you as you do. The elbow opens this knee. And if this is too much, we keep the underneath leg down on the floor and gently use our palm to send that knee out and back. Options, lifting the underneath leg or on the floor. 
lowering that underneath leg wherever you are, bring this knee in, squeeze it towards the armpit so you get a compression into that hip. When we release salluvial fluid, it'll flow around that joint, keeping it moisturized, keeping it mobile. Send that leg down to the floor, bring your heels in hip distance, knees in line, press your hips high, get that lovely length through the front of the body and lower down, bring the other leg up, good. Flex the foot, protect the knee, options. Using the palm just to guide that knee back. Or if for a deeper stretch, flexing the foot, finding the L shape, interlacing the fingers. Again, releasing tension through our hips, so important. Protects us from either aggravating or creating lower back pain and gives us good lower back alignment. At the same time, lower this leg down. Releasing any tension in our hips means we get to release the energy from that area of our body. And here it comes now as we squeeze the knee in, finding that compression, stopping blood flow to the hip joint, and then releasing it, sending our hips high with our knees and ankles hip distance. Press the hips up, let down your center line. Everything rushes back into that joint. Lower down, bring both knees in, well done, squeeze. Roll yourselves up, take a few rolls forward and back if you need to, come to face me. And one last time, join the soles of the feet together. Sit up nice and tall, this time one hand behind you, slide the hand gently down the inside thigh, lean away. Does that feel a little more easier, a little looser? Change sides, slide, lean away. Bring your knees in for one last hug. And then standing up, cross one leg. Step your legs nice and wide. Breathe in, take a grand plie, send your tailbone down, lift the arms to fifth, breath in. Hold here as you pull up. Feel the energy go around the body one more time. Plie, arms to fifth. And release. Well done.